Hi everybody, this is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. So I meant to get to you guys yesterday, but uh, we have had some storms come through here where we are located at, and the power was out um, for a significant amount of time yesterday, so I was unable to um, get this video to you among other life changes that are occurring here in my, um, throughout my experience. Um, and upon realizing yesterday the power was actually out, we were actually without, or we were within darkness for 12 hours yesterday. And of course yesterday was the 12, 12 gateway that leads us into <clears throat> the winter solstice. Excuse me. It is um, a 10-day period of completion. I had lots of experiences for myself. Um, yesterday, actually, I dealt with lots of crown-like symptoms, uh, more of the activations of the crown. And um, after I made my video uh, previously from the other day, which I guess now is, I'm double-checking, two days ago, I ended up having um, my crown still being activated because I am, I have been going through this higher crown activation or crown activation uh, for some time now. I developed through making that video about the full moon in Gemini, um, experiencing the dripping of the crown, which when our crown is finally completely open or we are about to experience um, this, you know, I don't want to say oneness or when we have created complete balance you now, when the energies are in alignment and with oneself and with source, where we are um, in that sacred marriage at the higher levels, because there are still three levels per um, the sacred marriage, which is the Hero uh, Gamos. Um, there's three levels of the um, cosmic egg. There's three levels to every single thing before we enter into our beingness. And of course, we have to go through this opening or be beingness within um, the four separate worlds. Or we also have to go through it within the lower self, um, which acts as um, below the solar plexus, and then the heart space, and then the mind. So we have to um, exist in this world in a certain way. Our heart space must become this, and our mind must be aware of it, of the I am presence. And so I began having this trickling sensation. And this is uh, when you begin to experience the um, light of the Ein Sof that is now mixed with uh, the cerebral spine fluid as well as the colostrum within the, the brain, which acts as the anointing of oneself or the anointed one, which is what Christ was, the anointed one. And I'm telling you, this is the actual trickling sensation that you're going to experience or can feel that comes from the top of your crown and just spills down your entire crown and, and down into your spinal column. And it's going to go down to the earth, which is uh, the base of the spine, which acts as the mother and also into your the feet is also known as the mother um, energies. And I am still experiencing that. I Yesterday I had more of symptoms instead of this beautiful experience, but today I have the trickling sensation once again, and I am feeling more um, in love, uh, centered, or yesterday because of my symptoms. I, I still felt, you know, I knew what was becoming of it, but um, because, you know, when we have symptoms, you guys know how it is. So I hope you had a great experience um, with the 12-12 gateway. Remember, it was all about balance. Bringing us into balance with the masculine and feminine energies of self, which is including the 12th and the 13th dimension, um, and quite possibly above, depending on the state of existence that you are experiencing right now. 
So today's video is about the word and W-O-R-D and we all know that the word is the Logos and the Logos is Jesus Christ. Um, and I wanted to explain that to you. So in one of my videos I ended up talking about, what did I end up talking about? Um, and I don't know, so let me just keep that out. Um, I, because I have greater understanding about it today, but let me just go ahead and go on. So, in the, the word, we will have the W. The W is not actually a W in the Hebrew alphabet. It consists of two V's or vowels that join together. They are connected, creating one part of the other. It is the nail. The vowels are uh, perfectly even and represent the union of the father and the mother. They are the two holes. They manifest um, the upper sphere of the Alpha, the Father, who is of the north cardinal point as the fire element or the ray, yellow ray of wisdom, which is the mind of God. They also manifest the um, the sphere of the Omega, which is the mother who is the West Cardinal point as the earth element and the pink ray of love that become the lower sphere of Omega and matter. The union of the two vowels that create the W in the word, the two parents manifest the sphere of Alpha as spirit and the sphere of Omega as matter and the vehicle through which all life is made manifest. And um, the letter O signifies or represents the universe. It is the hallowed place of the I am. It is the heart of the Godhead and the sphere of perfection of Alpha and Omega. The letter R represents the letter Resh in the Hebrew alphabet. And uh, Resh is represented as the leader, um, the head, the face, the mind of God, the color of gold, the sun. It signifies regeneration, fruitfulness, um, and sterility. And the letter R is um, works with the gold ray. When you combine the letters O and R, um, it is the gold and the ruby ray that together manifests and balances the holy breath, the universal ore. And, um, which um, acts as the masculine aspect of self, as well as um, day and night. O is the ruby and the element of earth that manifests all matter and the radiant light an energy that forms from the light of the heart and the inner um, Holy Spirit illumination of the temple of the Most High. R is the gold ray and the element of air that is balanced. The balancing element of the sun, it balances east to west and calming the water, the emotional body below. Now together, these two letters signify the space within the universe of being that is the hollow place of the I Am. Uh, the space is made up of a sacred substance of the universe called the universal or or is the breath of life in the universal mind and heart of God that runs through the veins of the universe as the golden elixir of life <clears throat> as the in breath and out breath of the mother and the father excuse me now, or together combined becomes the spiritual resurrection flame that is anchored in the third eye and illumines uh, the holy mountain of God. It is the breath of Christ consciousness in which flows through the physical body. This is how the soul in matter receives Christ consciousness. Within the physical body, this um, becomes anchored in and uh, within the solar plexus and the seed of the eternal Christos is developed. It is the center of our creation. It is the sixth ray of the resurrection flame. And within the physical body, the golden oil of Christ's consciousness of ore is depo deposited, excuse me, by the Father of Christmas. And this is how we have um, Santa Claus within um, 
or of course because of Christmas and so I I wanted to add that into this video and of course I'm going to make a separate video in reference to that and um, ex which, ex which is going to explain the story of Santa Claus now D is uh, of the of the word represents the letter day left day left in the Hebrew alphabet which is the door through which we leave and return. It has a value of a four. It belongs to the aquamine waters of the mother of the womb of Omega. It belongs to the fourth ray of the white base of the, which is at the the fourth ray of um, which is white and is that it is at the base of the spine. Excuse me, which is which opens the doorway to uh, the Shushuna energy or the true Kundalini energy, the, the energy of the Holy Spirit, um, whatever it is that you feel more comfortable in calling it, it is the Mother Ray. And so this is where the light of the Ein Sof, which um, act, it is source energy, um, radiates into the crown chakra, which of course supports the pineal gland and um, also flows in through to the spinal cord and it goes directly into the base um, spine chakra which is the mother chakra and um, it then flows then the direct flow of the light of the Ein Sof uh, from north to south um, is called the, like I mentioned earlier the Shashuna Nadi this is the lamp in the rod of our being that exists from the I am presence through the Christ self and down into the physical self. These waters are called the river of life. So yesterday as um, you know the power was out I spent a little bit more time outdoors uh, where I was receiving more of an activation um, through light codes in my inner vision and that is still something that I want to make time for is um, what it signifies um, the the um, circles that I have um, within my eyes um, or have been speaking about since the beginning of my ascension cycle um, I've been calling them orbs but um, it is actually a, a um, an image that I have and I would like to still do that video um, like I said for the past three months my life has been progressing progressively changing very drastically it is changing me internally giving me more reflection of myself um, these changes are becoming more frequent uh, my experiences have been um, more challenging but they are also um, very rewarding um, I again have gone through another transition and it is uh, a great lesson that I have um, gone through here recently and so I received uh, a, a lightning bolt um, type of um, light code yesterday so you may have experienced things that you are not aware of um, seeing um, codes within your, your inner vision that reflect out where you are able to observe um, you may not have any experiences but it, please keep in mind your experiences are there whether they are subtle or uh, you know more open and you are more aware of it um, there's no comparison here. It's um, an individual journey that all of us are sharing. And it's so important for us to just um, enjoy our own process. And so I, I wanted to just make this video about the word because it still works with what we are going through that um, in terms of receiving, receiving the light of the I'm self. That is awakening us to our divine being. Um, Twelve is a, a cycle of completion or of wholeness. And within the word of O and R, we receive balance, which allows us to receive the golden elixir. Golden elixir. And which balances us. It gives us more information through time and space. We understand more of who we are. Remember, we, in order to know who we truly are, we have to have an experience. These experiences teach us 
are a reflection of who we are or who we can become. And when you are able to see your experiences um, through compassion, through gratefulness, and through love, you know you are becoming your true I am self through um, our source. So I hope this video helps, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.